Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. In the last episode, we are going to do the replacement of a faulty hard drive uh, with the new one. Uh, I already opened a case with Cisco and because I have a SmartNet uh, contract with Cisco, so they give me a free of cost replacement uh, for the hard drive. And this is the disk which I have received and it is SFF HDD. SFF stands for uh, small form factor and this is the type of the hard drive which is normally uh, BE6000 UCS server have and this is 300 GB. So uh, it's very simple process to replace the disk. It is just plug and play because uh, I have a RAID configure and uh, the new disk which are coming nowadays uh, with the Cisco UCS and other servers uh, they, that does not require any shutdown of the operating system of the, or the hardware you just uh, do it plug and play while it is uh, continuous working uh, before doing this one i will uh, share my screen again and we will uh, sh explore some more options available in the cimc and i will show you that uh, how you can uh, replace uh, the faulty disk and how you can verify it there are some more uh, benefit information which can make your uh, life and your task easy in terms if you need to replace uh, some faulty hardware and especially the hard disk which is the most uh, critical and the most important part uh, so let's start our lab for today and uh, i will share my screen now uh, so guys uh, this is my main page for the cmc and if you see over here in the jc status it is giving me as a server fault and same time i have two b6000 and if i go to the first one there is no issue on the uh, server uh, status as a as a overall okay it is a good so if i click on here server fault it will take me uh, to the fault and logs page where it is giving me the logs about the issue and uh, i can go on this one on the simple from uh, the home page and i'll go to the fault and logs and if you see my first server there is no fault entry while on the second server i have a fault entry because of the storage and it gives me about the pd of two like the second storage local disk in a probable okay reset or replace the storage drive to okay uh, let's see some other more option which is important before i will go to the uh, to the replacement of uh, of the disk if i go to the fault history in the fault history it is again taking the history of the fault whatever it has happened from the day first until today it, it make you the uh, the logs and if you see in the log it's already giving me uh, the storage local disk 2 as a reset or replace the storage drive okay while on the first uh, i will check over here there as such no fault history except some uh, links went down management link so it's give, just giving me the information about the about the link but there is no swear fault what it is showing right now uh, here as a error okay the next thing is uh, system event log in the system event log again it is a normal events what has happened uh, during the server for example uh, i will power on some uh, led locators or uh, uh, some cable plug in plug off so it's just giving me the system event log in the first server it is a system event log it is just as informational there is nothing severe in the cisco cimc log it is just again uh, logs about uh, the session open session uh, log out successful failure so if you see over here i just log in uh, to the browser so it's giving me the log that on this date uh, on this date 25th may at 11 40 i am login uh, to the cmc to the browser okay so same thing for this one uh, the thing which is important uh, right now uh, it is the logging control okay this is very important for you guys because uh, your all hardware should be connected with your log server or with your monitoring server if you have so uh, any issue happen for example a disk failure issue any cable disconnection or anything happen with your fan with your uh, disks uh, with your pca card it will just send you immediately logs okay so it is always recommended to put the the remote logging server information so for this one i will just make it enable and, and i will just give the ip for my uh, solar wind monitoring logging server okay so it will just send me the log as a warning or as a alert i will just make anything what is suitable for me so i will just make enable and i will save the changes immediately 
okay same thing i will do with my second server i'll put the ip i believe it is the same ip let me yes okay and it is the warning i will keep it as it is or alert i will keep it alert okay so finally i done this one let's see some other more options uh, i will check on the power management i believe we already uh, discuss about this one uh, let me go on the admin side uh, user management let me see anything okay i will do one thing i will add user i'll put the name test 123 and password i will make it just uh, any complex password as per the policy okay and uh, i will just mention the again confirm password either i can do read only or i can do as a user or, or admin depend on my my requirement okay so i can just save it and now i can log in with this password as well then i have ldap if i have a ldap environment i can just do the authentication based on my ldap server so you will just mention the the domain and the the the, the method for the login this is uh, you need to check with your system admin then the session management it will just provide you information about the session how many people are logging for example i already created a user test 1 2 so once i will log in it will show me uh, the information about his login i will do one thing just let me check over here 10 to 20 i will log in and i will see okay so it's giving me the information that this browser already has an existing cnc session only one session is allowed per browser per browser so i have to be log out the reason i am using the same browser if i am logging from some other pc it show me so i will not do as a log out so i will just continue uh, with this one the next option i need to check about the networking it is just a uh, normal about your nick information uh, about the dns subnet mask if you are using dhcp you can use the dhcp dns you have to be make sure it is there so you can uh, connect with your uh, with your console uh, by using the name instead of the ip address okay in the network security uh, i believe there is nothing to be to be specific uh, related with the network except this is exceptional things ntp setting you should uh, can, uh, activate your ntp server in your environment it is very important to sync your time to provide you the correct information about the logs and uh, in some environment you have a compulsory requirement to have the ntp okay so this is also optional you can enable it next things uh, communication service in the communication service you can enable https or uh, http depend what's your uh, your your requirement if you have a specific rules you can configure your http properties as well okay to make a secure connectivity or either you can do ssh enable or you just want to go a simple tenant so this is also the best practice uh, depend what's environment you are working right now session time out should not be 1800 in second it it is always because this is the main console this is the main brain bios of your uc server so never make it uh, uh, i believe 300 seconds is more than enough okay if you are idle you are not working your session should be log out after 300 second and maximum session should be four so again this is depend on your environment go with the best practice based on your your cyber security or your system security environment next is snmp which is the the most important that you should have your snmp environment uh, in uh, in your uh, uh, for the log purpose so i already configured the snmp port and i put the string and uh, snmp community and the uh, contact uh, email address through which i will i will get the information about my uh, my server on my solar wind or any any monitoring system if you have like cisco prime or cisco infrastructure okay the mail alerts you should mention your smtp mail server for any alerts and uh, i already configure it okay so this is also come under the best practice environment the next thing is uh, the security management in the security management it is a certificates normally you your certificates is valid for one year or two year so depend if you if your uh, certificate expire for example uh, in my case it is expire already i will make a separate small session 
about uh, the regenerate or generate of certificate sign in request separately uh, so you can you uh, you can use just simply this one put this information and it will be generated uh, next thing is uh, the security configuration i believe it is nothing to be some some specific uh, this is again about your uh, key secure management i will not go in this one the next thing is the event management this is the event management about about your filters what kind of events you want to filter or you want to keep or you want to to uh, to remove and what action it should be be taken based on your selection okay uh, after that firmware management uh, i will check if i will upgrade the firmware management uh, let's do uh, this activity for the firmware as a separate uh, session okay uh, so finally there are some utilities already there to generate the logs i already discussed in the first episode so if anybody is, is want to know how to generate the show tag he should consult and check my first episode so uh, finally we have done it all the things uh, let's do uh, the replacement of my hard drive which is our task for today so uh, the main thing i'll go to the chassis on the summary if you see over here i have locator led this is a feature which is very important and second thing if i go to the uh, sensors if i come to the uh, storage i will see that this is my all hdd 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, i have six uh, hdds okay so you see it is given as a uh, as a present and 7 8 9 10 is it is as a absent so i have seven disks in the huge environment where you have more than one ucs server how you will know that which of your uh, hard drive have a fault or if you have multiple servers how you know on which server you have to go and replace your hard drive because you are not uh, physically present while you are connected with uh, the cimc and you don't know how i i will go and i will go to the exact hard drive where i have a problem okay so this is i will tell you how we can locate it this is my second server which i have a faulty i'll go to the summary on the summary it's all, already given me the server fault now i will go to the sensors i'll go to the storage here it is showing me as std status as failed so what i will do now i will turn on uh, the light on the hard drive okay every hard drive have a small blinking light so if you want to locate your specific disk i will just click on this one and you will see in the in the next session in the next uh, in the in the screen that the light is turned on okay so through this one i will locate my faulty hard drive another thing if you have a multiple uh, servers one two three four five how you know on which server i will go reach it so i will just go on to the right corner locate led so as soon as i will do this one i have this option about turn and you will see on the my uc server immediately my light is turned on okay so i will do same thing uh, for the for the second one also uh, i'll go on the summary it is locate led is off so i will just make it locate led and it's turned on okay so same led will be turned on at the back side of the server so for example you are changing the fans okay you have to change the power supply so how you will know so you will just click on this one and you will see on the back side if i make it turn off i'll make a locator led turn off immediately the lights will be turn off and if i do the turn on it will be immediately turn on the light okay so you see so how i can locate my uh, ucs server whenever i have a problem so how i will reach to my specific uh, server on and the specific hard drive so what i did now on the faulty uh, faulty my hard drive i'll just go to the sensors and uh, i'll go to the storage i already turn on and now i will go to the data center and i will just do plug and play and then we'll come and see that uh, the error logs which is uh, right now showing here as a server fault it gone or not okay so guys this is my disk which i have to replace it 
So I'll just plug this one. I'll take it out. Simple. And I will plug my new disc. Okay. Simple. So guys, uh, finally we uh, plug the new drive and we remove the faulty one and as soon as we uh, remove uh, the old one and plug the new one, our fault status is changed as a moderate fault, okay? So it's mean that we need to do uh, one more step ahead without doing any downtime and after that this uh, fault will be gone as well. So what we'll do now, we'll just uh, go to the CIMC and we will reboot it, okay? The CIMC reboot mean it is just uh, uh, reinitialize the BIOS from the beginning and it will not uh, disturb or shut down my any uh, my any uh, virtual machine or my any operating system it is just a reboot or reinitialize of the BIOS so I will do just this one and we'll see the result now so finally after uh, rebooting the CIMC my status as a uh, for the server is overall server status is good so it's mean uh, i have uh, done successfully replacement of the faulty hard drive from my cisco be6000 server and if i'll go again and i will verify uh, by going here in the sensors and i'll go to the storage and if you see there is no more uh, fault uh, error as a status so i have done my uh, my replacement of the hard drive successfully uh, it is very easy and very smooth process except you need to be uh, very alert and very active because this is your production environment and if you do any any wrong replacement uh, for the hard drive you will lose some data the steps are very straightforward i hope uh, you enjoy this video and we have done our uh, our last episode for the replacement of the hard drive inshallah uh, very soon i will uh, come with uh, with some new a uh, new challenge a new task and uh, we'll see how we will fulfill this one so thanks for watching my channel i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and see you soon with some other tasks some other activity take care allah hafiz bye bye